What did that say? I didn't get to read it. <sighs> Special gear. I don't know what it does. A modified version of a powerful Zenith weapon can it can place designators on target, turning it into a special barrage of homing attacks. Requires a special component to upgrade. Huh. Oh, they're cool with me trying it out in here. Oop, that's the wrong button. Okay. Um. Oh, good. I do just get to keep it. Cool. Cool. It only requires metal shards and sparkers? Oh, man. That's cool. Alright. I'm content with that. Alright. We can... We can go. Love how awkwardly she's holding her arm. Hey, guys. Oh, I can just... Pell down from the heavens, it looks like. Launches worse than the other Zeniths. Yep. Willing to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sick and I have to find a way to stop him. Once I make things right with her. Walter has abandoned us. I guess Brennick spread the word to the rest of the people here. Yep. That Laundra doesn't care about them. They must be pretty confused. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is a lie. Um. Where was the other guys? Maybe we could return to our crewmates. Brennick told us you and Seika killed Zeth. Yeah. Traitors. Lon, please. Zeth is dead. No one can reach Walter now. It wasn't... It wasn't what that meant. You. Brennick told us you're the cause of all this. No. <sighs> you know what the cause of all of this is? It's Walter. Has abandoned us. Well, yeah. Everyone, please remain calm. Seika stormed out of here not long ago. What exactly did you two do in there? Uh, nothing you can legally prove. It just seems like the Quim have some thinking to do. Yep. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. I hope so, too. But I gotta meet up with Seika. Talk things out with her. Make sure we're okay. We're okay. Ooh. Y'all, like, just met. And you're already... Stars in their eyes. Well... Oh, which means that they can't see past it to the heavens. Oh, that makes sense. Save. For his amusement. Oh, God. Because, of course. <sighs> Alright. So, ooh, what's this? Accidentally find a gleam. Cool. Uh, birdie. Thank you. Let's go. Is 
Do I need to try to fly through the trees? And shatter everything? No. Am I going to anyway? Absolutely. Just so this way I can fly next to the lava. There's a boat. Not that I would use it if I have a bird, though. <sighs> well, I'm definitely going to have to hit a cache. I bet you, if anything, the um, robot that's inside of that park, wherever that is, is probably uh, what the last dino is in my repertoire that I haven't seen yet. Keep flying. There we go, kind of balanced out. So maybe a little higher. There we go. So I can just coast. Yeah, there's another one of those frog things. <sighs> well, I've already been to that tower. All that really remains is Dino Tower over there. You can kind of see it. The real question is, what kind of dino do they make for the last one? Because there's a slaughter spine right there, so that's not going to be it. It's going to have to be something more, you know, big and terrifying. That's kind of the whole point. Um? I don't know what that is. But it's fine. Oh, that's not... Okay, I thought this was going to take me back to the thing. It didn't. I flew in the other direction of it. I want to stop back at town first. Is that recording? I think it's coming from inside that ruin. Getting down now. Hold on. Oh. Um, well, there's a cache. Wasn't intending to be in here, but... Ooh. Supply chest. There's data here. Where? Oh. Uh, ants nest one to all. Entrance protocols to access AN01 have been disrupted to delivery withdrawal from munitions, crucial operation, enduring victory, reverting to a single factor four digit entry code. Passcode is 1315. Be useful. Is this what this is talking about? Okay. No, no, down, down, down. Okay. Okay. Oh. I hear some gleam. Is it just down here? No way this elevator's moving. Hey. Nice shiny rim shine. So why would I need the passcode? Hmm. Another ornament. Oh. Find a way to get to it. Oh. 
You can just pry that open? Sure. Pull the lever. All right, Kronk, pull the lever. Card's not moving. We, we want it to move? Is that something we wanted? I'm not exactly sure we wanted it to move. Oh. Enough to last till the end. I wonder if I can get to the other end of the tunnel. Please. Um Interesting. Interesting. Um yeah, maybe up and over? Let's see what we've got down here. Okay. Well, so then how do I get in? Yeah, because... Did we need anything to move? I'm not entirely sure what's... No? No? I mean, unless I maybe, like, fly up the maybe side. Get into that cart from the other side. Hmm. Alright, let's try jumping down from the cliff. First off. Someone else came across this ruin. Camp looks awesome. Yeah. Could try to enter the ruin from this side. You how far down am I going? Am I going all the way? No, okay. Good, because I didn't want to go all the way anyway. A lot of train cars. What was this place? Probably a train depot? Or a subway? Okay. At least for now. Okay. Oh. Cool. So that'll get us from this side. Um. Okay. So now what? So I did get in from the other side. There doesn't look to be anything blocking it. I think it needs power. Wow. Oh. Okay, but how? Access portal. Um. Oh. Duh, the energy cell. That would make sense. Still weird that this thing is stable how many millions of years later, but Cart should have power now. Okay, cool. So now we can just careen this one off a cliff. Not in my way anymore. What's that 
sound. Yeah. True. Hello? Is there someone out there? Someone there? What? That voice sounds familiar. I believe this is 1315. Um Ah, Oktoberfest. Stemmer will be interested in this. I should give it to him the next time I see him. Oh, I gotta go get another battery. Oh no. Oh man, that just barely did not fall off a cliff. Okay. Talk about wonderfully convenient. Alright. Let's go put this in so we can open the door so we can get the key. There you go. Then we can let the other guy out. Got it. Okay, on my way. Coming. This abandoned shaft would surpass half the ends of the claim. Not to mention it comes with this charming disembodied voice to keep you company. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Another fortunate swing of the hammer for old Gildan? Hey! Aloy. My flame haired Nora, my damn fixer, my second set of hands! Hey! I thought we'd meet again in such familiar circumstances. Here's in the last DLC. Ah, certainly not me. <sighs> what are you doing here? Well, now. It all started when I heard the echoes of a most peculiar voice beckoning me into this beguiling place. <laughs> but I resisted. I knew this was a special delve, one I had to share, so I went and fetched my friend Olvar, who was more than willing. And where is he? Alas, we got separated when we sailed into a howling tempest on the way back here. Oh. Blew me right overboard. I floundered about in the waves, certain I'd become snap maw bait. Fair. But nope. The sea spat old Gildan right out onto the shore. Olvar huh. undoubtedly thought I was a goner and pressed on, as any true delver would. I followed in his footsteps as far as I could, until I came across a door that wouldn't budge. Oh. Naturally, I searched for another means of entry. That's when I uncovered an ancient lever. Tantalizing in its door opening potential. Oh, I see. So you pulled the lever. I pulled the lever, <laughs> which may have, upon reflection, sealed this door shut behind me. And thus do we find ourselves once again at a fortuitous meeting. Okay. Can we step back a minute? How exactly are you here? The last time I saw you was in the dam way up north. After your departure, I wandered here and there, dabbled in a few ruins, <laughs> even tried my hand at another dam out past Baron Light. Oh, I know Nothing that one. Nothing could quite compare to our delve. You wandered all the way from Banuke territory to the Forbidden West? An ember in the wind, girl. That's old Gildan. Yeah, fair enough. If luck would have it, I bumped into an expedition headed for the Burning Shores. Now there's an opportunity for fellowship and adventure, I thought. Yeah, well. So I chucked my lot in with theirs and... Here we are. Well, I'm not sure how you managed to get out here unscathed, but... You're alive. It's good to see you, Gildan. I'm glad. Tell me about this Olvar guy. Our bond was forged on the road to these uncharted shores. Night after night, I relayed my previous ventures to my traveling companions. Uh. Olvar took it all in with a fascinated silence. Uh -huh. So we here... We agreed to share our fortunes. The look on his face when I told him about this place. <laughs> Nothing quite like the joy of a new delve shared with good company. After Fair I enough. fell off our boat, I searched all over for him. I was starting to think him lost when I found his camp up top. Okay. He'll be as happy as a sun-kissed Karja to find out I'm not dead. I bet you he pushed you. Sure he will. Okay, so let me get this straight. You think Olvar somehow managed to get deeper in the ruin? Courtesy of a handy-dandy shaft. <laughs> or, well, not so handy-dandy now that some rubble's blocked the way. Right, so if we're gonna find him, we need to find a way past that door you mentioned. We? 
Yes, yes we. Gildan, I will help you find Olvar. Of course we. Make sure you don't get yourself trapped again. <laughs> Marvelous! Just like old times. God, I hope not exactly you like old times. surprising and perplexing ways. Me with my nose for danger and excitement. The door lies just ahead. After you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't intend to be doing this whole quest, I'm going to be honest with you. I genuinely thought that this was just going to be like, you know, it found a cache or something, not whole side quest with Gildan. Temporary abode. Nice place. Indeed. Would have loved to share this discovery with Olvar. Regrettably, I tumbled into the sea as the ruin entered our sights. Uh. Could imagine my joy discovering my lanterns in this tunnel. Presuming me dead, Olvar put them to good use. So resourceful. Oh. I hear the, the stink gleam. There's some brim shine. And here I present our hinged hindrance. The finale hmm. of our grand tour. All right. Yep, definitely blocked. Not my first impassable obstacle. Cart. Engine console. Oh, there is stuff in here. Wonder if it's the same code. Oh, well, that wasn't it. Hmm. Uh, we'll need a passcode to get through. Passcode, <laughs> of course. What uh, is that? Uh. A set of numbers. Let's look around. All right, there's got to be a reason I can see in. If I were a passcode, where would I hide? Maybe we can find it somewhere. Okay. Oh, there's a bellow back. We could try retracing our steps. Oh, jeez, okay. Genius idea. Fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Find some. Oh, dead weight. Uh, data corruption minimal. If you've heard my call, you're close to safety, or at least the closest thing to safety. You've probably been wondering if you can trust a strange voice coming from a tunnel, so. I'll level with you since I've got nobody left to level with, and hell, you probably don't even exist. Anyway, we're getting pounded. Every day is another slugfest against the bots. Then, out of nowhere, the evac order came in. Immediate. No time to prepare. My crew was tasked with closing things up, and I was taking inventory on the surplus. I stepped out for a few minutes, and then they were gone. Orders were to dump any unnecessary weight, and I guess after the accident, what that happened to my leg, well, that was me. To be honest, I won't miss my squad. They weren't much fun. Kind of the worst, really. But spending my last days alone? I didn't have clearance to disable security altogether, but I managed to change the code to my birthday. It's January 17th, so don't worry. You don't have any to get me anything. Well, Aww. there's a passcode left behind by one of the old ones. He was alone here. He broadcast the recording. Can we try that uh, passcode out? I'm just itching for you to meet Olvar. Uh, I don't trust this. February 17th. Finally in! <laughs> Crumbling stone, malodorous mildew, a delver's dream. Mm hmm. Looks like someone tried to blast into that room across the way. Olvar's never been stingy on the blast paste. Eh, uh, fair enough. Um. Okay. Ooh. There's my shine fragment. Yep. This pile of rubble is definitely an Ovar special. Well, the path's blocked now. We'll have to find another way up. 
Um, is there more inside this thing? Oh, there's some. Okay. Hold on. Oop, the old nope. ones must have loved spending time underground to build these tunnels. Must have been great delvers. Uh, sure they were. Okay, so once I get back up there, that's when I can jump over there. I can't reach that ledge. Uh, I'd give you a boost, but uh, my knees aren't what they used to be. Okay, anything else I could um push? The number of delves where a crate saved my hide. Or nearly crushed it. Okay. How do you suppose they went about creating these tunnels? By hand? Blast paste? Plow horn graphs? Uh they probably didn't have all of those, to be honest with you. It's over here. To nothing. I think I've hit a snag. Yeah, no kidding. Um, let's see, and nothing that we can do to shove that further away. Oh, unless I'm wrong. Oh, see, I thought maybe I could get in here, but nope. Hmm. Can I maybe? No. Oh. I got over a little bit, but not enough. Um. Can I just push it? Like, there should be some sort of something. No. There's nothing for my pole caster to uh, launch into. Of course not. I can't make that jump. I know. <sighs> Unless there's something like in there that I can just crawl up and out, but I don't think there is. Wait a minute. Is there a hole in the roof? No. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Anything else I could probably do? <sighs> Unless there's like some sort of release code at the panel. Nothing I can do, hit, move. None of that stuff. Okay. This control panel's fried. Um. I gotta get closer. Eh, it's fine. Um. So unless I'm supposed to go in here and break something? Vent panel over here, further up. Hmm. Yeah, and I can't do anything with that. <sighs> I 
Oh, I can literally just I, grab uh, it. Get some help. Anything you need. I can. Right, let's push. I can literally just grab it. Ah, the joys of locomotion. Uh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's keep our guard up. Okay, so. Right. Let's also, while I'm at it, pull this back. Hello? Are you going to help? Man. Well, that's too bad. Okay. Whoop. You don't need the code and key module. Hang tight down there. I'll look around. No worthwhile delve is free of its devilish challenges. Eh, fine. This cart's blocking my path. Maybe I can find a way around it. Ooh. Okay, maybe there's a way with less falling. I disagree. Oh, nope, okay. Okay, hmm. up there. Okay, hmm. so far nothing with that. Unless... Nope. Okay. That didn't work. Um? Okay, hmm. so then... Oh. There's a chest in here. And a could check this vent, see what I find. Best of luck. Personally, I've always been more proficient at losing things than finding them. You name it, I misplaced it. Hammers, oh man. Shards, my pet crab, Garoon. I even lost Poor my Garoon. Fallen into the sea. Ah. Nice finds where that went finally. Okay. Well, this is the elevator. Probably uh, no good. I need your help with another card upstairs, Gildan. I'll find you an easier way up. My arms are at your service. Perfect. Just kind of shimmy across then. I see you haven't lost your knack for hazardous traversal. No, why would I lose my knack for that? Oh. You're fine. Of course. I'm glad that you were prepared to catch me, though. Alright. Um. Well, there's my shine, so this way that can stop making that noise. Huh. <sighs> left us another cup oh good uh data points um okay that's the study notes bean counter you're on how many Cans of baked beans with bland labels and blander flavor do we have left? I don't know, Ron. Why don't you count them? Okay, Ron, I will. 1,247, Ron. Okay, it seems like an awful lot of beans for one Ron. You know, Ron, I agree. Seems like you're doing great adjusting to solitude, Ron. Thanks, Ron, for noticing. 
Is that supposed to be funny, Ron? <laughs> That's why they left you, Ron. Oh, poor guy. A true gentleman. I'll bet plenty of people answered his call. It doesn't look like it. Nope. One thousand two hundred and forty seven, they said. Huh. Moves the elevator. Hey, Gildan, hop in. Alrighty. Is it safe? No. Uh is it safe enough? So I'd get out about now. Yep, just, you know, give me another minute. Here I come. There we go. Oh, I gotta go all the way back through. I just didn't want to have to climb all the way back in. Alright, come on. Keep going. All right. Oop, 1247. Right, oh boy. This worse than a four on Smith East Sea. There's that uh, noise again. That sounds like it's closer. Keep pushing. Or do we go back in? Keep pushing. All right, whatever. Story time. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, you know what? This is actually well suited because this has to do with the uh, with the Grand Tetons and Yellowstone, which is the first place that we met our Ostrom friend over here. And uh. We decided for this wonderful family vacation to go on a hike, because I'm more of a nature person anyway. So I was like, yeah, and I like the mountains, so we'll hike around uh, the Grand Tetons and like Lake Jenny to get to it, instead of just taking the ferry across. We should have just taken the ferry across, because the whole day was actually spent walking around the lake and not actually walking through the mountains, but it's a whole other thing. But once we finally start getting to the mountains of it, my family has determined they've done enough hiking and Maybe they would like to go home. on the upper floor to climb higher. Need to find a way on top of it first. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I see. Um, but anyway. So, for our... For all our intents and purposes, we are just tired and we're ready to go home. So, as we're starting to, like, get ready to walk back down the mountain, we notice that there's, like, a lot of tourists, because it's tourist season, and let's face it, we're tourists, but we just... There were a lot of kids that were screaming as well, and my mom was like, I don't... I, she's like, I did that once already, I don't want to I don't want to go through that twice. So, my brother's like, you know... I have I have a brilliant idea. He's like this is, it's a it's a slope. It's an angle. So we'll just we'll just walk off the edge of the cliff and then just like, you know, as long as we keep our angle, like we'll be fine as we go. So my brother leads the charge. Just just starts walking right off this cliff. Sheer like stone face, smooth as a baby's butt. So he starts slipping. Now, I'm, I am the good older sibling. I'm not going to let my brother careen to his death alone, so I follow him. And my parents, you know, as we're, we're, we're all adults at this point, right? I like to point this out. We're all adults. And my parents, you know, being the good parents that they are, decide to follow us off the cliff. <laughs> Instead of just walk all the way down and pick up our mangled corpses from the bottom, <laughs> my parents... Who are in their late 40s, early 50s at this time, decide they're gonna go down after us. <laughs> because we're all stupid. 
And so my brother just starts sliding down the cliff, and I'm like, no, no, you gotta, like, stand on these spots, because they're less. So I slide down the cl cliff a little less. And then my parents don't, don't follow any of that. They just go straight down the cliff. <laughs> we all ended up fine at the bottom. Nobody got hurt. But, you know, there were points in time as we're all sliding down this cliff at, like, different stages that we're looking at one another, being like, are we gonna, are we gonna die? Is it, we're, like, the, the full accept of the entire small family unit of my brother, my mother, my father, and myself all just going down this cliff being like, man, this is, this is really dumb. We probably shouldn't have done this. But accepting the fact that we're too far into the cliff <laughs> to change back. So needless to say, that was the most satisfying boat ride back across Lake Jenny that we could have ever hoped for as we were tired from walking all around it and practically careening to our death. And then that was the same trip uh, in which my dad lost his phone at Yellowstone because for some reason we had the brilliant idea to drive nine hours from Yellowstone to Mount Rushmore because my mom heard from one of her friends that it was an easy thing to do. It is not. She's like, yeah, no, it'll maybe be a six hour drive. It was nine hours, one direction. It was, there was no hope. Anyway, my dad loses his work phone and on the, on the same exact trip, literally after we've almost careened to our death. And, uh, you know, he started getting a little car sick e with um, the gas station cheese wheel he ate to go with it. And he's got, like, on the back of his phone is a phone case for his work. So, like, a very clearly an important phone, because it's not his phone, it's his work phone. Um, so someone you know, thankfully ends up turning it into the lost and found for us. But, you know, we're looking for this phone. We can't find it anywhere at Mount Rushmore. One of the biggest tourist destinations in America. Can't find it. So we're standing around the Mount Rushmore food court and we're like, well, what do we do? And I was like, well, uh, they're like, okay, we'll split up. We'll trace our steps, you know, all this stuff. I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to call dad's phone. So I call dad's phone. And it's the lady from the lost and found. And it's like, oh, hey, uh, yeah, my dad lost his phone um, the, she's like, oh yeah, someone just, you know, turned it into the Lost and Found, thankfully. Oh yes, cool, great. Um, so yeah, like, should we come down to the Lost and Found then and retrieve it? Or, she goes, oh no, we'll send somebody to you guys. Um, so, just, you know, stay at the food court, you know. You said that's where you guys are at, yeah. After my family's already left, by the way, I'm the only one still sitting in the food court. And... <laughs> And I was like, okay, cool. So, um, like, you know, how, how should I know that it's you guys? You know, like, is there, like, something that you're specifically wearing? Like, you know, should I just, how do I keep my eyes peeled for you guys? And she goes, oh, you'll know. And then she hangs up the phone. So I call my mother, who has her phone still, and I tell her what they've told me. And then we call my brother. Same thing. One of them has dad with them. It's fine. Um, so mom's like, okay, well, how are we going to find this lady? I was like, I don't, I don't, she just said, you'll know. When we see her, I'm like, okay, what does that mean? I don't know. So, we, you know, get everyone coming back to the food court. And I see a guy in, like, a a neon vest, right, from the parking crew. So, like, you know, clearly he's got to know, like, what's going on, right? Like, that's that's what they mean. You'll know. Vi vibrant vest thing, right? No, that's not it. I, I started asking him about it, Only and... we had the good fortune to stumble yeah. upon another metal crate. Huh? Or... We could bring the one we've got upstairs. Oh, well, that's good. Um. Oh, we put it in the elevator. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, so, he's like, he's looking at us completely confused about all of this. And we're like, okay, well, uh, I guess you're not the person. Sorry about all of this. And he's like, no, no, it's, it's fine. And, you know, I go back to my mom, like, I don't know then what she means by you'll know. Like, neon vest is like, the closest thing that you'll ever get. And then out of nowhere, this about six foot four guy dressed in like a National Park hey, Mounties can, uh, uh, uniform. <laughs> you mean climb across? Sure. So how did oh. you and Olaf oh, okay. team up? Okay, hold on. I'm going to finish the story. Um, so six foot two Mountie looking guy shows up with the phone and my mom look at each other and I look at each other and go, oh, oh yeah, we, we knew. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's definitely him. 
Uh, but like there's nothing more intimidating than this guy that's in like full complete uniform that's like way taller than the entirety of your family <laughs> dressed up full and just being the you'll know guy like <sighs> and um with a caravan and uh yeah so that was the story of how two seemingly mundane things that happened on the mount rushmore trip slash uh yellowstone trip were way more than what we should have bargained for also uh after the nine hour car trip my mom's like so what do you guys think of mount rushmore and the very first thing that we say is i can't believe it's that tiny <laughs> and you can see my mother like jokingly kind of deflate a little bit and she goes okay but <laughs> Till I told him about Mum, her priceless looking glass. Oh, now he's I doing monkey bars. Just like it. He was interested in your looking glass. Probably stole it. He's an inquisitive mind. You two will be tighter than two nuts on a bolt. Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it. Great. Spin it. Ready to go? Uh, I'm glad you didn't actually check. That I was indeed ready to go. Uh, dude. Um. Oh, okay. Whew. There. Ooh, no! I can't get back up now, can I? Oh, no! I don't think I can get back up. Because I fell off. Oh no. Okay, send me up. Oh, okay, cool. They'll just they'll just bring me separate. There's an Edgar. It doesn't want me. <laughs> you can you can put her in frame though if you like. Nope, nope. I see. She doesn't want to be in frame. Okay, I am up. Oh. For it's great, so worth it. Now I can't wait to get a new story every stream. I have a plethora of very interesting family stories, most of which involve the fact that my entire family unit probably should have died. <laughs> and that's kind of been the general uh, <laughs> the general theme in all of our family vacations. That, and for some reason, the last... Um, Every time we go someplace, like within a year, something really bad happens to that place. So we should probably start stop now. going places, but we keep going anyway. Oh, there's a gun. Why? Why? Why do we have a gun? Should I? Why do we have a gun? Yep, there it is. Come on. Oh. Ah, no, no, no. Kill it. That one went down harder than an anvil. Yep, you know it. Burrows aren't that bad. It's just hitting them sometimes. Okay, that's one of them down. Okay, you're dead. Oh wow, I have like a lot. Where are you from? Why? I have so many bullets in this Deathbringer. To be honest with you, the problem with this is involved the aim. Man. Come on. Go down. Go down. Good. Okay, you're dead. Ow. Come on. Stop. Bad. Bad. I'm glad that I don't lose this thing anymore when this happens. Thank you. All right, let's go. Come 
Come on. I know you can die. Let's do it. Ah. It's just hard to aim where some of these go. I'm leveling up so easy now with this. Well, it's because I'm using a gun, for starters. Okay. How many of these are left? Do they keep spawning, or are we gonna get to the end of this at some point? Die! I don't know if I'm enjoying this or not, but... I mean, it is nice to be out away from all of the conflict and just able to fire a gun. Okay, one last one left, I think. Man, that's most of them gone now. Most of the bullets, at least. Okay, <sighs> I think that was all of them. Let's keep going. You got it. Who is probably dead, or he is hoping you're dead. It's one of these two things. We went on lots of vacations that were memorable when I was younger, but nothing epic. So I've been making that up by having crazy experiences with my kids now. Honestly, and that's going to be the thing that they're going to remember, too. Like, besides the, like, basic obvious. But what can I tell you about more from the trip to D.C. that we made when I was, like, in the second grade? The fact that we nearly died? Or... Like, you know, all of the monuments that I saw. Uh, do I need to type in a key? No, okay, that's good. And also, it helps them to remember, like, life lessons more, I guess. Oh, God. Uh, 1,274. Uh-uh. What was it then? Because, like, I remember things about history a lot better because of places that I've been. But also, then you, like, you know, learn th weird things while you're doing it, too. Um, okay, this is all the heaven sent stuff. Um, okay, that's the Anops. Um, don't ruin my Pangea. Oh, that was the guy with the burger joint. Um, gunk. Okay, Rokomo, pass it along. January 17th was the first one. 1,247. Oh, okay. I flipped, the, I flipped the numbers. Okay. That's what it was. 1,200. No. No. <sighs> you clicked the wrong button once. Where there is? it is. Olvar must be wondering what all the commotion was about. He is. Mm. He is probably dead. Oh. We have we have definitely dead people. All right. Um. Huh. Now. Guess our friend found someone after all. Did you? Oh well, I'm glad I I glad that Ron found somebody else. I am gathered here today for the funeral of my good and recent friend Ron. Ron saved my life, the very last days of them at least. I was taking care of my grandfather when the military evacuation was called. I didn't think he'd last so long without power to his life support, but he did. And I couldn't leave him behind. When I finally tried to get out, everyone was gone. I roamed the city for hours before I heard Ron's message. Honestly, the idea of spending the last of my days in a weird bunker with a weird bunker man was not something I would have predicted to be cool with, but I guess it was better than the alternative. Ron made the most of every day I knew him. One night, we went bean can bowling down the shafts. The next day, we took the cargo carts for a joyride. Then, the air turned bad. We switched to emergency oxygen. When that ran out, we started breathing the tanks of 
the med team left behind. We spent the last few days watching old hollows of Santa Monica Kitchen Wars, of course. Ron gave me the last tank. He said he needed me to see the season finale. Apparently it was jaw-dropping. And it's just the kind of person he was. Thank you, Ron. Your friend to the end, Brianne. Find something? This data. Aw. The soldier didn't write it. His friend did. Aw. I knew he'd find someone. No, that's so sweet of them. How do I get through there? Mangus tries Maybe to get. He's hiding. Uh oh. <laughs> Fight the prank, Olvar. I don't think he's pranking. Mangus tries to get me in trouble with her brothers. <laughs> the other day, she ran up to him and bragged she got to play on the Switch and he didn't yet. Oh no. <laughs> Got ice cream too. Luckily, he was a good sport and laughed. <laughs> oh man, I gotta say, as, as a sibling, if I was like, oh no, well, like, man, I can't believe Nick got to do that and I didn't. You know, that would have been totally me. Behind that door, <laughs> he could be trapped and sleeping, so he can't hear us. Oh, I see. That's that's what we're going for. I mean, I still probably would have been a good sport, especially with how young she is, comparatively. Yep. Oh. But as a whole, like, I would have been like, man, I didn't get to have those experiences. Oh god, he's dead. Hey, buddy. Cold. He's been here a while. No. His explosives must have attracted burrowers. Is that... The sunglass. Glass. That's probably when he pushed him off the boat. Yep. How am I gonna break this to Gildan? Oh, not gonna be easy. Aloy, there she is, a Delver like no other, I must say. Oh. Well, let's hear it. Oh, Gildan. Gildan, my friend, I got some bad news for you. So, any sign of my elusive partner? Well, Olvar didn't make it. Machines got him. Yeah. I found him holding this. My looking glass. But how? This isn't going to be easy to hear, but I think he, he really grabbed it. Mm, grabbed it. That's what it was. He knew how special this was to me. That. That has to be why he held on to it. You don't want to think ill of him. Thoughts until the very end. Yeah, that's what it was. You don't get it. That doesn't add up. Just hold on to that belief. You know what, Gildan? Yeah. I'm sure you're right. That is how you should remember him. Yeah. And at least this way, you know what happened to him. Yeah. You're right. Oh, Better Adele than it than never began, after all. Just a whole heap of rotten luck. Right when I... Finally found someone to be my friend. That's the way the hammer falls, I guess. I think I'd be used to it by now. Truth be told... Oh. I never had a lasting friend. What about Aloy? I mean... And your own mum doesn't like you enough to stick around. Oh. Why would anyone else? I'm really starting to think. I might go my whole life like this. No, honey. No, no. No matter what I do, what I say, no. in the end, I'll be inevitably all alone. Nah. Hey, that is not true. You'll always have me, Gildan. And I might not be with you all the time, but <laughs> there is a way for us to stay in touch. Nah. This. Go ahead. One of your tiny wonders? It's called a focus. You put it on up here, like this. <laughs> Whoa! Sparks to steal. Look at that. And that. Yep. 
<laughs> Over there too. You just gave him the best. No idea what it all means. But it dazzle all the same. I will put you in touch with some friends of mine. They'll help you get up to speed on using the focus. No. And I meant what I said. If you ever really need me, give me a call. I'll always help a friend. No. I'm gonna try to keep it together. Before you skedaddle out of here, I've got something for you too. Oh. Figure Probably a weapon. Find a better use for it than me. Thanks, Aww. guys. Until we meet again. In the next game's DLC, I'm sure of it. They already said they're working on it anyway. Got last argument. Oh, it's it's one of those explodey weapons. Well, let's go look at that. Currently, they're all trying to get me to let them off with my old game gear. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I was I was the kid that wanted that. Ooh, is that better or worse than the one I have? It's the one I have currently equipped. Oh, it's this thing. <gasps> it's better. Oh, it's so much better. Hold on. Um, okay, I didn't have anything equipped on that yet. But, oh, I get extra stuff. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Can I just make sure I'm full up? Uh, pack's full. I can get it for my stash. Hey, Gaia. I just gave a focus to a friend of mine. You make ah. sure he's patched into our network. And maybe check in on him now and then. He could use someone to talk to. Certainly. Oh. I am happy to converse with him whenever he wishes. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is this thing working? Yep. Hello, Kelton. Let us continue our conversation on another frequency. Whoa! Who was... Wait. Don't tell me. Another friend of a certain flame-haired Nora? <laughs> By the forge, this is going to be marvelous. I'm so happy. Thanks, Gaia. I'm so happy that they they just they gave him no. Oh, they gave him friendship. They gave him lots of friendship and he really needed it. And even our dead soldier had a friend at the very end. Man, oh, that's a lever. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh boy, that was not something I had considered. Oh, okay. Turns out I made a wrong turn. That's what it was. Oh, poor Gildan. I really do hope that uh, if Game 3 does have a DLC, that we do get to actually see Gildan in it again. Well, before we wrap up, I'm definitely going to fly on back to, uh... There we go. I'm definitely going to fly on back to the main city so this way I can upgrade everything, make sure we're all up to date. I have a feeling we're coming close to the end of the DLC. Well, I don't know. There's this whole area we never bothered to explore, so maybe we'll have more to do with this, or... Because this is definitely Dino Island. So this is where this is going to be. I don't know, though, what's in the other things. I'm definitely going to have to take a look around, though. Who knew I was accidentally going to stumble into the um, into that quest, though? I might have to do a thing after we beat the main story to look around. Um, hello? There it is. Uh, just to look around and make sure I'm getting all the rest of the side quests done for the DLC, because usually the DLC has lots of them. Thank you, everybody. Leave me alone. Is something trying to kill me? Do I need to worry about that? 
Because so far I'm just going to assume the answer is no. Alright. Do I need to go talk to the Admiral at all? Before I uh, carry on? I'm still intrigued by the whole cloud area that's over there. Hmm. Good birdie. Alright, get a little closer and drop. There we go. Nailed it. Perfect landing. Um, do we have anything to talk about? Or no? What can I do for you? Um, desperate situation. You said your situation was desperate. That How looks like it's new. Happen? We sailed from across the great ocean. Ours was the tribe's most important mission in the century. It was to be my swan song. Now it will be my epitaph. A typhoon struck us midway, cleaving the fleet in two. I know not what happened to the other half. I do. Scattered, stranded. Probably sunk. I don't know. There's always hope. I suppose your presence attests to that. Yep. We try. I thought that would be new information, but... I'll leave you to it. You just got something new Watch to say to me. Out there. Well, it's nice talking with you, Admiral. Alright, let's go to the save point that we have over here. And then we'll, um... We'll handle upgrading and everything like that before we, uh... Go out to do the next part of the quiz. Or quiz. Next part of the game. Quiz. What quiz? That doesn't tell you where my brain's at. The answer is, it's not here. 